Testing, testing, one, two, three. Is this thing on? And it appears as though we are live. Yes, we are live. What's up on the U-Box, guys? This is Top Hat Productions 115, coming at you with another video. I apologize if I'm a bit loud on the microphone. I'm currently a bit close to it, just because of the fact that I'm trying to make sure that the audio comes through. As you can see on Bandicam, it's not quite at halfway, so I don't know if you guys can actually hear me that well, but nonetheless, I'll try to make sure that I don't breathe too heavily on the microphone, and I'll try to keep this video short, preferably under five minutes. So, we have a few brief announcements for the TXP Network. First of all, we have a Patreon page. If you'd like to see the Patreon, I'll go on and show it right now. And I'll also leave a link to it in the description. Let's see. And there we go. So if you go to www.patreon.com forward slash Top Hat Productions 115, as you can see, we have a Patreon page. And there are, I think, 13 options for Patreon donations. I'm sure that you guys can read most of this. I made sure to keep it as short as possible for all of these descriptions. So I don't really think that I need to explain that much. <clears throat> but this is more so just an option for those of you who want to contribute on a regular basis instead of on a one-time basis. For those of you who want to donate on a one-time basis, you can either do that by buying something from our eBay store, you can donate via the paypal.me link, or you can also send us an email via the .ningo email address that we have. All of those are in the descriptions of most of our videos, so if you want to make that one-time donation, you can do that through those channels. Otherwise, please use the Patreon link to make regular donations. With that said, we're going on to the next announcement. The next announcement is, well, not really an announcement. We're going to be continuing on our bi-weekly upload schedule. So the next video that you will see will come out two weeks from now and will hopefully be a gaming video. <clears throat> Now on to the third announcement, and keeping it short, the third one is a little bit more important, if anything. Now, we have a new device coming in, which may help out with physical video reviews and app reviews in general. It is the Google Nexus 6P, the device that was kind of co-developed by Huawei along with Google. I'm probably not saying that right, but that's not really important. The important thing is that thing has an excellent camera for its time and can also record in 60 FPS and 720p. So there may be some slow motion videos sometime in the future. There will be uploads done in full HD, possibly in 1080p and maybe 1440p. Um, long story short, it's a really good camera, and I can't wait to start using it <clears throat> in device reviews. So I hope that that will definitely improve the quality of the videos that you guys get to see, and I hope that you guys will enjoy the new content that will be enabled as a result. Uh, huge emphasis, once again, just on being able to record at 60 FPS, which could, you know, enable some slow motion video clips. I'm definitely excited for that. But on to the next thing. By the way, I will, be re I will be reviewing the Nexus 6P whenever I get the chance to. But the next thing is, in addition to our bi-weekly upload schedule, I've also come to a few conclusions. First of all, the way that we are recording videos, while I guess okay for now, needs to change a tad bit. We are currently using an NVIDIA GTX 550 Ti, which is kind of a lacking card for, I guess, lack of better terms, in terms of what we're trying to do. In the optimal situation, I would be recording most gameplay at 60 FPS. So the current plan for the TXP network is I'm going to be working on getting a better graphics card because what you're looking at right now is Bandicam using, yes, 
the H.264 CUDA encoder, which takes advantage of the graphics card. Now, I know a lot of you are going to suggest getting a screen capture card, but getting a screen capture card means that I'd be buying a completely different separate piece of hardware just for screen recording which is going to take up more space and I don't currently have much space in the workshop currently. If I do get a separate capture card that's also going to possibly cost more than getting the GPU by itself depending on where I get it. I get a lot of these parts at discounts and used prices. So long story short I will be most likely working towards getting a GTX 10 series GPU to take advantage of CUDA accelerated um, features. I will most likely not be taking advantage of NVENC. In addition to that, if I remember correctly, I also mentioned it on the Patreon page. So you guys may or may not already have an idea of where we're trying to go with this. While we could get a separate capture card, it might not be in our best interest to get a separate capture card, just due to the fact that we are already using a few applications and services that are CUDA accelerated and CUDA enabled. If we were to actually change up a whole bunch of that and try to use a separate capture card, it might actually change the way that our video production workflow works. We will consider all options, but it seems as though the most cost-effective option for us at this point is simply to get a better GPU so that I'm not stuck trying to get multiple components. Seeing that this rig already needs a GPU upgrade anyway, I mean using a GTX 550 Ti doesn't really cut it in some games nowadays, especially ones that require DirectX 12 and other newer APIs. So if you're wondering, the most cost-effective move for us right now in terms of just overall upgrades and also improving our video production workflow will most likely be just to get a new GPU. Once we get the new GPU, then I will consider getting a separate capture card on top of that if it will actually improve our workflow even more. So without further ado, I hope you guys are having a good Valentine's Day. I'm sorry that this isn't a live stream, but I'm currently trying to keep this as short as possible and using Hangouts on Air requires I actually schedule an event and then from there start the video. So I'm keeping it short by just making this a short upload. Anyway guys, you guys have a good day. President's Day is coming up soon and I hope to see you in the next video. Signing out.